guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title i am going to be doing a um type of needles type of video i wanted to show you guys the type of needles that there that is out there which ones are for um in better situations and or um just a little information on like how to kind of switch it up so if you guys want to see more of this go ahead and stay tuned but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into it Alrighty guys, so I just want to kind of go ahead and show you guys the type of needles that they have out here. Um, they probably have more, probably more than what I've seen. Um, but this is just what I'm used to um, and what I've like kind of come across in my career so far. So many of you guys know that the main type of needles are going to be your butterfly needles. Okay, and then you have your straight needles as well okay um me personally i love these two options i love the other options that i'm going to show you guys as well but these main two are just the normal ones um if i had to choose i would definitely go ahead and choose the straight needles 100 percent, 10 out of 10 because they go faster um it's just one two three and pretty much it's over with and then the second choice would be definitely the butterfly needles. So I'm going to teach you guys how to assemble a needle and kind of try to give you a little bit of tips on when to, when to use which type of needles. All right, so here you guys see that this is going to be your butterfly needle. Um, this is the main one that we use for veins inside of your hands um, and sometimes in your actual AC as well. Um, but it just depends on the patient and what kind of veins that they have because they might have really, really tiny veins. And I mean like tiny, tiny, it's like too tiny to go into their hands. And you may find some veins up here where, you know, you can use, but you would definitely need a butterfly for. So that's just that on that. Um, so when you go ahead in and you take your needle out, you're just going to go ahead and go like this. You're going to get your vacutainer right here and you're going to just go ahead in and screw it in and there you go. You just go ahead and um, you prepare your everything, you know, put your tourniquet on, wipe the alcohol, wipe it down with alcohol and assess your vein. And normally you just go ahead and you just clamp these two together. After you clamp it, you just find your vein and you just go ahead and stick your patient with it. Stick the needle, I mean, where's the vein at? I can't even see it. Stick the needle right into the vein and there you have it. And then you're able to kind of let go of the thing and most of the time you're able to just kind of anchor and just hold it just like that just to make sure with one hand and then with your other hand you're just go ahead and feed in your tubes just like that in and out in and out so obviously that is going to be with both options you're going to have your uh the only difference between these two like the blue and the green butterflies is the size difference this is the green one's going to be a 21 gauge which is bigger so when the number is um lower the, that means that's the bigger the needle size and so when the number is higher that means the smaller the needle size um, or the gauge of the needle or you know vice versa so as you can tell that this one is going to be the really small one so the normal one that goes in your hand is going to be your blue one sometimes sometimes your the veins may be big enough for you to just go ahead in and stick with the green one um but i definitely don't really recommend that too much um because it will cause a lot more pain to your patient it's already hurts enough in the hand um so i definitely if you have the blue uh, needle i would just go ahead in with that one um so those are those two options for the butterfly Alrighty, guys so the next type of needles that we're going to have are going to be your straight needles um these two needles i pretty much love for everything i personally just love straight needles i love going in the ac it goes so much quicker so much easier so much smoother um, compared to the hand so if you can i would definitely try to definitely make sure you master um sticking with straight needles because sometimes you may be out of butterflies and to be able to stick with a straight needle at all times all costs no matter where the vein is really shows what kind of phlebotomist that you are um or nurse or you know healthcare worker that you are so i definitely recommend that to assemble one of these needles you're just going to go ahead in and unscrew the needle make sure you're doing it properly um the green part is where the actual thing you're going to stick in the clear part is where the needle is and you definitely don't want to take off the wrong one um so you just take it off just like that and screw it in just like that and there you go 
good as new or perfect <laughs> um and obviously when you're sticking you want to make sure that the bevel is up the needle is up so this should definitely be up at all times whenever you're sticking in individual or patient so that's this one now the only difference between the two needles the green needle and the black needle is the black needle is smaller this will be pretty much the size of a butterfly the blue one and this would be the green one like that's how you can kind of differentiate um, personally i love green ones because they go so much, so much faster than the blue or the black ones um but obviously if you're doing a straight needle it's going to go fast regardless as long as you're in the vein <laughs> um uh, but yeah, so but me personally, I like especially when I'm drawing a lot of tubes If say a patient has 20 to 14 tubes I would definitely go in with my actual green needle because it's gonna fill those tubes up faster and that reduces time for How long the tourniquet is going to be on the arm? Alrighty guys, so now that we've kind of got that squared away um, Here are some other options that many nurses use um, but also phlebotomists can use as well so you're going to have the needle in the syringe method. Personally, I love this option as well. Um, it's a really good option when it comes to a lot of things. Um, but let me just go ahead and show you how to assess it. So you're going to pick your needles. These are the different size needles. Um, you have the 23 gauge, you have the 25 gauge, and then you have the 21 gauge. So the 21 gauge is obviously going to be your biggest needle. Um, the 25, no, 21 gauge, this is the same size, never mind. So these are the same sizes, and this is going to be your 23 gauge. And this is going to be your smallest one. This is going to be the size of your butterfly. So if you're trying to stick with one of these, this is what the opening is going to look like for you to be able to insert the syringe inside of it. So you're just going to go ahead in and make sure you pop the seal on the... Um, syringe to make sure you get all that air out and you're not sucking in no air and then you're just going to go ahead in and attach that together and you just twist it on just like that and this is your needle and syringe method the reason why i like this is um, sometimes the regular vein uh suction on the needles or the actual tubes are too strong and may end up blowing the vein so for those who have um really small veins or fragile veins and they know that their veins blow really really easily this is what's going to help in that situation so like i said you do everything just alike you're just going to attach this to this when you're going in to stick the patient it may be a little scary because it's not what you're used to however i promise you once you try it once you'll be able to do it easily it's the same thing you just go in and say for safe you're going in you're going in like that obviously you would never go in like this but i'm just showing you for an example um you go in and you hold it just like you would hold it with the other one and obviously you would just go ahead in with your other hand you would hold pressure just like this and just start sliding all that blood in just very slowly up until you feel the full tube the whole tube up with the amount of blood that you need um that's just that on that they have different uh, syringe sizes obviously they have 10 ml 4 ml 5 ml 3 ml 5 ml and you would just have to go um based on how many tubes you need to fill up um obviously this situation would not be something where you need to fill up a lot of tubes because trying to take this off and change the syringe i've actually never done that and i don't think i would ever plan on doing that and that would to me be a little bit hard so that's the only con to this situation but other than that it works same exact you just go in you just and you just suck it all out suck all that blood out and you're able to control how much pressure you're pulling with this va uh, vacuum tainer or with this um syringe so that is the syringe method that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching until next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you guys can help your girl out and until next time bye <laughs>